Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao looks to be in shape ahead of this Lucas Matisse fight. Do, 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 do. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button, also subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing if you want to become part of the gang gang. Notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Now, Manny Pacquiao, on his verified account, posted this particular picture you've seen in the thumbnail. He looks dialed in, he looks ready to go, as he should. He says in the caption, July 15th, can't come soon enough. Hashtag Pacquiao Matisse, so it looks like he's closing out his training camp, ready to go. Now, this is a good sign. There were some moments of uncertainty, I guess you could say. Bob Arum, Pacquiao's, I guess, former promoter, even though he's in charge of the U.S. distribution for this fight, Top Rank as a company is not behind this fight. It's actually Manny Pacquiao Promotions with Golden Boy. But Top Rank is just, they're working with them to distribute the fight on ESPN for the U.S. side, right? But Bob Arum seems skeptical. He always seems skeptical of Pacquiao taking these fights in um, obscure locations that don't typically have boxing like Malaysia, places like Dubai, and just different spots. And he sounded doubtful that the investors would come with the money that they said. And I didn't know this was a real thing, but I did see an article recently and it was like Matisse got his money, so the fight is on. So I didn't know it was in jeopardy like that because when I was hearing about the the money not being available or the investors and the backers not coming with the funds, it was before the fight was made. So I didn't know that there was doubts after the fight was made that the money would be there. But it appears that the money's in the bag and we have a fight I believe at this moment Matisse is already in Malaysia where this fight will take place this is taking place July 15th in Malaysia however if you live in the states like me I live in California it'll be on a day earlier because of the time zone difference it'll be on July 14th I don't know if it's gonna be on ESPN plus ESPN the regular channel or what but it's supposed to be on ESPN in some capacity. It, this fight seems a bit weird to me in the sense of there hasn't been much buzz for it and there hasn't been much um, details, I guess you could say. There's a lot of details where it, things are unknown, like we're a week and a half away or whatnot, and I don't even know what network it is as a consumer. I don't even know if it's going to be on ESPN Plus or ESPN or something else. Right. So that's a little bit weird of this magnitude. And the funny thing is, even though some people are going to argue that this fight is years past its expiration date, I actually like it. I don't think Matisse looked particularly good in his last fight, but he got the job done with the knockout against the, the guy from Thailand, uh, Taram Karam or whatever his name was. And he got some version of a WBA belt. We know Keith Thurman is the true super WBA champion. So it's a title fight technically. Both guys have power. Pacquiao, clearly the athleticism and speed. I would say Matisse is probably hitting harder at this point of their careers. Matisse is slower, but probably a, a hair taller than Pacquiao. So I think it's still a good fight for where they're at. I think it's a dangerous fight too, especially for Pacquiao. He's the guy that's older. Matisse has been stopped, but he got stopped. Kind of seemed like an injury out of frustration. I think he just mentally checked out more than anything. Like, maybe something was going on with his eye, but he seemed like he couldn't deal with Victor Postal, right? So he wasn't the same after the Danny Garcia fight to me. Because after the... He looked damn near invincible before Danny Garcia. And then Danny Garcia brought him back to reality. Then he had that tough fight with John Molina, who was moving up to 140 at the time. And, and Molina gave him a tough fight. I know Molina has a lot of power, but he knocked Matisse down twice. And it was like a fight of the year type. Then he ended up getting stopped by Postal. So he's relatively new. He hasn't really done anything major at welterweight. He beat the guy from Thailand, Karam, and he beat Emmanuel Taylor, who really wasn't a welterweight. Broner had beat him years ago at his more natural weight, which was 140. And he lost to Orozco. So interesting, really based on the timing. A lot of people match these two together years ago. It didn't happen. We're getting it now. So 
you want if you want it you want to watch it just tune in i'm actually i'm actually like i said i've never had a problem with the fight i think pacquiao he's coming off a loss to jeff horn he didn't look particularly great it was a fun fight definitely a fun fight to watch jeff horn but you've seen i was at the fight with terence crawford you've seen how easily it was for terence crawford it looked like no match it looked like a mismatch and people it's funny because people always say so oh crawford look at him he's taking a a cupcake but not necessarily because Crawford was the one moving up from 140 where he was undisputed. He could have stayed at 140 and tried to milk it. He moved up from 140 to 147 for the fight. So it didn't have to look that easy. The reason it looked that easy is because of who was in there with Jeff Horn. Because it was Terrence Crawford, right? It had it not been Terrence Crawford, like if, let's say, Adrian Brown or Chris Algieri moved up and fought Jeff Horn, I think it would have looked like a totally different fight. Not saying they couldn't have beat him, but it definitely would have looked different. It wouldn't look like such a domination. And Pacquiao, who has way more fights than Crawford, way more pro-level experience, he didn't look like that versus Jeff Horn. So I definitely rate Terrence Crawford because his skills made that fight look like that. Pacquiao's lack of defense and ring IQ and clinching and knowing what to do, walking himself to the ropes, made it a fun fight, but it made it more difficult than it needed to be. Because again, Pacquiao doesn't always fight with. Um, sometimes he fights on um, not smarts, but more intensity and athleticism, and goes to war when he doesn't have to because he's not trying to box or whatever. But as far as Pacquiao, he definitely looks lighter from his heyday. He's always been small. His head looks huge. He, he looks in shape but he, he definitely looks smaller i remember pacquiao around the time when he was fighting marco antonio barrera and shane mosley he he looked ripped even more cut up and more vascular right striations and stuff more definition but he also had mass too so you've seen his physique change over the years some people are going to say oh it's because he's he's older some people would suggest otherwise but just looking at him um he looks he looks in shape like you know what i mean but he, he looks a lot smaller He's, he looks more his age like when i see floyd mayweather floyd mayweather versus i was at the weigh-in you know i covered the fight with mayweather mcgregor floyd looked ripped and floyd's older than pacquiao so just something to think about pacquiao to me looks older still not in bad shape but he just looks a lot lighter leaner big ass head and and part of it might be too just the balancing senatorial duties and political stuff like he i don't know if he's fully vested and that's what makes the matisse fight dangerous because you better be invested in, into your training camp because matisse's power is, is up there because tim bradley sparred matisse and he said he hits harder than pacquiao ruslan and everybody he fought and that's with headgear and bigger gloves so should be an interesting fight drop your thoughts let me know who you're picking July 14th slash 15th, depending on where you are in this world. Manny Pacquiao. Do, do, do. Um, I do believe um, my fight with um, Lucas Matisse will go on. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego Sign. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.